So far, we've seen how the value in the for loop is continuously increased. Let's try something different. Let's try to experiment with decrementing the initial value. Say we want to draw concentric circles, that is circles that have the same center, starting with the larger circle with a radius of 150 until we reach a circle with a radius of 10. The circle center will be at 50 and 50. Again, try to sort things out first by using pen and paper by drawing the first circle, then the second circle, then the third, and so on until you figure out the structure of the for loop. Which variable should we initialize? That's right, the circle radius. For how long do we need to go? Until the radius reaches zero. How do we update the radius? That's right, we need to decrement it by 10 each time. And now we draw the circle. Ta-da! Let's try to draw five horizontal lines of width 60, starting at 10, 10, where the second line is 10 pixels lower than the first line, the third line is 20 pixels lower, the fourth line is 40 pixels lower, and so on. As before, this means that we will be modifying only the y values and that we will always be doubling it like this. How did we end up with a y smaller or equal to 170? Let's use pen and paper for this. If the first line is at distance 10 than the first line, the next is at 20, the next at 40, and so on, then the last one is 160 pixels away. So we started with y equals to 10. We're 160 pixels away, so now we have 170. Well done.